Hey guys, I promise I can upload something to my second channel, so here we are. It's Friday afternoon, no, night really, it's nearly 10 p.m. So uh, I've treated myself to a time off, I posted the video late uh, earlier on and I'm supposed to be following my release schedule and I have some work prepped. But f to be fair, I just want a coffee and do something a little bit more creative. It's cold already. So. I've got a new laptop at work. It's this. It's Giga, uh, Gigabyte Aero and it's pretty nice actually. I'm enjoying it uh, compared to a rather inexpensive laptop I've been working on for the last couple of years. There's a one problem with this box. It is empty because it's my work laptop. It's at work right now. I could bring it here. I might even review it if I've got a time. But and this box was particularly nice, so I thought in line with me saving up absolutely all fancy boxes and trying to repurpose them for something useful and having time to myself this Friday, I thought we might actually uh, figure out what we can do with it. And I have a just an idea for this. If you want to know what I'm going to do with this, well, you'll have to just stick around. Let's uh, first thing. It's a fancy little pop-up mechanism, so when you open it up, those two um, tapes kind of lift the laptop on the side. Now, I'm not going to need any of that because I want to recover this space, and then we're going to utilize it for something else, for something that I usually have a problem with. So let's uh, gently cut the box and see what we can do with it. Probably going to uh, turn on my camera from top down so you can see it better. I think that will work. And I'm going to need some tools, including a sharp knife. I always have a sharp knife somewhere. Here I am with my knife. So unfortunately this clever mechanism has to go because we're not going to use this, so I'll have to cut this off. I don't want to destroy the, anything else on here. Maybe I'll cut it from this side for now. And then I'm just going to remove it with scissors. All right, and that's not needed. The second item on the agenda is obviously to get rid of this backing. Uh, so I hope it's not glued particularly well. There's no glue on the sides at all, so it's only glued down. It's kind of hoping we can only lift it. Let's see if that's the case. Oh, popped out. Nice. <laughs> Look at that, should be a thumbnail actually. Yeah, let me grab a picture of that. Enough of being silly, we've got a job to do. But now that we have a nice box, I'm interested in dimensions. So uh, let's grab a measuring tape, which is here. And let's dimension this box. So on the inside we have 16 inch. <laughs> Obviously 16 inch because it's a 16 inch laptop. Okay, 16 inch will be like this. Uh, but that gives us a 41 centimeters on the inside uh, by uh, 30, so one foot. Uh, so 12 inches, so 30 and a half. So it's a 41 by 30 and a half and those dimensions are important. Obviously, we're gonna do a nice compartment now a couple of days ago I watched Joe telling video I'm gonna probably post it in the corner that he was covering bento 3d design It's a very nice uh, web interface that you can use to design your own compartments and it's not particularly uh, I don't know fancy. I mean, it's fancy in terms of how it's been put together but allows you to create a storage solutions with the different grids and it's pretty good for all your basic stuff. So the real problem that I've got right now is only one. This is 30 and a half by, uh, what was it, 41 or 42? I already forgot. You probably have a better memory than me. It's 41. So in no way, form or shape, that's going to fit on my Ender trees. All the printers I've got right now, they are limited to 20, essentially 22 centimeter uh, square build volume, which means that we will split that 
I think into four different compartments. So that's going to be easier to print and I'll be able to take them out. And that way I can maybe like separate them into M3, M4, M5 and 6. That makes sense, I guess. Let's, let's do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that um, online uh, web interface to create those grids. And even though they come with the boxes, you can only, down, uh, you can only select the download for uh, the grid itself. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So I want to make sure that I'm going to have four of them that's going to fit here nicely. And they're going to have the same depth, uh, which is uh, just under four centimeters. I can do four centimeters, I think, because that will close nicely. Yeah, I'll do four centimeters. And uh, yeah, we'll see where that gets me. So that is the plan. Uh, I'm probably gonna queue up my prints overnight and hopefully in the morning, I'm gonna finish this video and show you with the final result. You won't see many of the bolts sorted. I can guarantee you this much, but I wanted to give that um, generator a go and see what kind of compartments I'm gonna get and how useful they are. So that is the plan. So let's jump into the uh, Bento 3D design. I'm going to link that in the description as well if you want to give it a go. And if you have random fancy boxes like one of this, uh, actually I was late to the party because we had three laptops like this and unfortunately the two other boxes have been dismantled. Otherwise I'd make a nice tray out of it. To prove this, let me reach out in here. <laughs> There's already a couple of boxes of the stuff I'm going to review soon waiting for allocation of items, which is uh, gonna happen. I can guarantee you that. Let's jump into a design and design to shape. Let's make it 38 just to be sure that I can close the lid without any problems. That should be enough. Now, uh, I need to divide that into four sections. Now, the overall dimension is, let's do three millimeters, That's, that feels good. And uh, that's okay, because we're still going to work within that parameters. I'm kind of disappointed that there is a limit to these, because in theory it shouldn't matter, but okay. So, my depth is going to be a sliced by two. So, if I've got 41 in here, I'm going to have 20 and a half. So, let's set that to 20 and a half. And my depth is going to be 15. Oh, that, should be, that should be my quarter, right? So let's double check that. As they say, measure twice, uh, 3D print multiple times because uh, your tolerance is going to be off anyway. <laughs> uh, if you notice now, uh, the dimensions are on the inside. So they are accounted for the how much space I've got inside. And now I can design how my grid is going to look like. I could go with a standard grid, I can change completely how it's going to behave. So I think at this point, the grid 3x3 three three works pretty alright, considering the dimensions. I'm slightly tempted to maybe get a 4 in the middle, uh, just in case I've got like washers and nuts. Uh, let's have a look in here, would be like maybe 6mm, 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, 16mm. Yeah, that could work and then nuts, washers, and two spare compartments for the same size. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this layout. So if we're gonna to go to the download section, you'll see that you can download separate different uh, bits. So I have my compartment here. I don't want a box, I don't want a hinge, or I don't want a cover. I only want this. So let's uh, download the STL. I took a break, um, it's around midnight now. I'm gonna set off my prints. I'm probably gonna use two or three printers, so I don't know yet. And then uh, I have a run in the morning. I'm uh, running a park run at nine, so I'm not planning to stay beyond 1 a.m. So I'm probably gonna finish this video in the morning, tomorrow morning when the prints are done and I can showcase the box that is completed. But for now, let's just drop my um, item into there. We could get a 0 0.4, maybe. Nine hours, this is nice. Okay, nine hours is what I, what I would expect. 
0 0.4 millimeter. I think that's going to be good. That's going to be what we need to do for this. So let's save it as a G code. And let's load my printers. This is the loud printer. So it's in a different room for obvious reasons. We're going to move to my silent printers in a second. I've got everything I need in here. We just probably have to just check if the filaments are right and start printing. And good morning, the cat in the video shouldn't last that long, but you can tell it's a morning, it's uh, seven o'clock um, and my printing is done. Uh, also, you know, it's the next day because I received a really lovely gash in my forehead. I had an encounter with a shelf and unfortunately the shelf won. But it's not of the failure because I have these. Well, with one exception, I had enough filament to get me three white and one brown which suddenly started to under extrude which means i'm gonna take my printers uh, to the table next door already cleaned it up mama even run a live stream and tune them because honestly since i moved the houses last year like even before that i haven't even leveled the bed i've been just running them since and i could see the prints progressively getting a bit uh, worse so I, it's time for a tune-up and cable management and i've been promising myself this since ever so i might as well just do it at some point so yeah uh but we are here to uh, fit these and uh, see the final result so let's do this i've cleaned up the box and removed the tabs so that should be uh, better now you can pick where this is gonna go so let me adjust the camera a little bit so you could see better what I'm doing. Oh, look at that. I have a little bit of space left and I'll have to investigate what happened. There is a small gap in here, but uh, this is looking better already. And all I need now is just numb some screws for testing. Don't worry, I'm not going to sort them now. That would be a tedious task to watch. There's some magnets in here. And cable. There's lots of different things, but... Uh, you get the idea now. It looks kind of cute now. So uh, I consider this to be a success, but let's see if I can actually close it. Now, the most important question is, can I flip it outside, upside down? I bet they're gonna mix. Yeah, they would mix if I do that. That's okay. I'm not going to do that, so. It's fine. Okay, I have a little nice box that holds a lot of screws and now I can actually uh, get rid of them from my mugs, which is nice because I can put my mugs, the nice mugs on the display. For example, like this one I got from Switchbot. <laughs> cool, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, video for the second channel and uh, I'll get to work because I have a long day ahead and lots of editing. See ya.